Indo A Yokoso Lexus. Pardon my Japanese, but welcome to India, Lexus. Well, it's been a long, long time coming, but Lexus is finally in India. So far, luxury always meant something German, something British, or even something Swedish. But Lexus is here and promises to offer a very different take on luxury, something very Japanese. They want us to get familiar with terms such as Takumi craftsmanship and Omotenashi, which is Japanese for hospitality. We are in beautiful Kunur and with me today are three very different flavors of the Lexus experience. Lexus has a full range of models abroad, but it is starting its India innings with these three. The ES300H sedan, the RX450H SUV and the LX450D SUV. We'll go in order of price. So first on the list is the ES300H. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. The ES300H may be the entry point to Lexus's India range, but cheap it is not. Imported from Japan and subject to the full range of duties, the ES300H costs 55.2 lakh rupees ex showroom Delhi. What makes the price pinch even more is the fact that the ES300H shares a lot with the Toyota Camry. Remember, Toyota owns Lexus. But before you rule out the ES300H as just a Camry with a Lexus badge, note that the similarities between the two remain hidden deep under the skin. The ES300H looks like a proper Lexus with a design that is elegant and some parts sporty too. Without a doubt, what gives the ES300H's design some real character is the oversized spindle grille that makes the front end look imposing and distinctive. The sharply cut headlights add their own drama to the front end. There's a pleasant balance to the rest of the design and the ES does manage to carry off its 4.9 meter length with grace. There's a nice flow from the chunky C pillar to the tail section. The tail lights with the L-shaped LEDs add a degree of distinction to the rear and you'll also like the boot for the amount of luggage it can hold. There's a lot to like in the cabin too. The leather seats for one not only look rich but are really well cushioned. Then there's the general look of the cabin. The dashboard is split horizontally into display areas including the instruments console and center screen and control areas including the center console. But it's not solely about functionality here. The layered dash is attractively turned out and characterized by a sweep in the region of the center screen. The screen and infotainment system is unique in its own right. Now Lexus doesn't do touchscreens, what they do get is this controller here. So it works pretty much like a computer mouse, it's got this enter key so you can click your way through the options. It does take a bit of time getting used to but I sense it will be quite intuitive to use on the move. The infotainment system offers the essentials but does miss out on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Indian cars don't get a functional sat-nav for the moment either. What does more than make amends is the superb 15-speaker Mark Levinson sound system. There's plenty else on board too. The sole version of the ES in India gets 10 airbags, LED headlights, a sunroof, memory seats and mirrors, 3-zone climate control and a reverse camera. The features are all well and good, but what about quality? Now when you're talking about the ES300H's interior, you have to talk of it in terms of its price competition. So at its current price, it's in line with the BMW 5 Series and the Volvo S90s of the world. So when you look at it in that way, quality is good, but not quite up there with the best. For instance, if you look at the buttons on the center console, they just lack that richness and that sense of modernity which you get in the other cars. What also drags things down a bit is that a few buttons are a straight lift from the Toyota Camry. Of the larger things common between the Toyota and the Lexus is the hybrid powertrain. Lexus is big on hybrids and sees it as a crucial differentiator in India, especially at a time when emissions have become a part of everyday conversation. The ES300H's powertrain comprises a 160HP 2.5-litre petrol engine and a 105kW or 140HP electric motor. The combined max power of the hybrid system is a decent 205HP. 
While the setup and power output is the same as the Toyota Camry hybrids, the Lexus runs a different ECU for its powertrain. And the driving experience in general is a whole lot more different too. So the EF300H is a Camry under the skin, but you have to give it to Lexus who've done a lot to make it actually feel like a Lexus. For instance, sound deadening is a lot better here. You don't hear all that much of the engine, uh, it does strain at times and there's no getting around that, but the sound is more distant here. Also the suspension is virtually silent, so it does give the cabin a nice and calm, a very relaxing air. And you have the option to keep the noise to a bare minimum. On offer is EV mode, which means full electric power, so when there's enough charge, you can drive on pure electric power. It's a good way uh, to make silent progress in rush hour traffic, but uh, there is a rather limited range of just a few kilometers or so, and you have to be very gentle with throttle inputs to keep it running in pure electric mode. Also on offer is Eco, normal and sport driving modes. Now what these do is alter the characteristics of the engine, the electric motor and even the steering. The three modes do give the desired performance and in fact when you really push down on the throttle, acceleration is brisk. But the overall feeling that you get in the ES300 is that this is a car that doesn't really like to be hustled. This is a car that you should drive in a relaxed manner and it's a car that will lower your pulse rate. Lexus claims a 0 to 100 kph time of 8.5 seconds for the ES300H, which is respectable. If and when you do drive the ES hard, you'll find the CVT gearbox makes the engine sound strained, but is also quite ready and responsive to manual shifts at the gear lever. Also, on a quick run, you'll find the front wheel drive ES to grip well and handling to be tidy, but not much more. On a twisty road, you can tell the ES300H doesn't really have very sporty pretensions. Sure, the steering has got more weight and more feel than you would get in a Camry, especially in sport mode here. But uh, this is not a car that you'd like to throw into and out of corners. If not handling, what will be of interest to all and sundry is the ES's ride quality. The suspension is really absorbent with little of that low speed firmness we've just come to accept from European cars. The overall experience is rather plush. Coming to the all important rear seat. So as you can see there's a lot of space in the back seat of the ES300H. Legroom in particular is really good but the highlight for me has got to be the seat itself very well cushioned, it's nice and soft and you know, it's, it's a place you'd really like to slouch down on after a tough day at the office. The only thing that really takes away from the experience a bit is that thigh support is a bit lacking, the seat isn't as generous uh, down here. So to summarize, the ES's strengths lie in its relaxing persona, efficient powertrain and the fact that it's got a degree of novelty that many luxury buyers want from their 50 lakh rupee plus cars. And that Camry Connect, well, you really don't need to worry about it. There are areas where the ES isn't a match for European luxury sedans in the same price band, but this is a likeable package and a good entry point to the Lexus brand. To know about the Lexus SUVs, click on the link in the description below.